Hello Terraria Enthusiasts, my name is James and today I'm actually hitting up one of the most requested videos we've had here on Chippy Gaming and I'm going to be counting down my top 5 Moon Lord drops. Now in this video I'm actually going to be focusing exclusively on the weapons that the Moon Lord drops because there are in fact 9 of them. He drops a lot of items and some of them are more insignificant than others but when reviewing the weapons you actually have a lot to choose from and the cool thing about each one of these weapons is that they are the most powerful weapon in Terraria in its current form so all of them are actually pretty good so it's gonna be hard to actually pick my top five favorites so I'm actually gonna be reviewing them on how often I actually use these items and how much fun I actually have using them I'm not really going to include how powerful it is in my actual reviews because it doesn't really matter to me each one of these items are end game items and so they absolutely smash pretty much anything they come into contact with so with that out of the way let's count down my top five moon lord drops let's begin five so starting off in the number 5 spot, I'm going to be taking a look at the Lunar Flare. So this is actually one of the mage drops that you can get from the Moon Lord. And the mage class is actually my favorite class to play when I'm playing Terraria. And the cool thing about this item is that it actually matches power with the last prism, but it also has a unique feature. And it will actually spawn projectiles to the current point that your curse is at. So it will pass through all blocks and then stop exactly where your cursor is. Most weapons that actually do this, if they hit a block, they'll just explode. But the Lunar Flare will actually pass through a block and go to exactly where you want it to be. It's also got a lot of power, which is also very fun to use because you can absolutely shred through enemies. It's brilliant if you're in a cave or in a dungeon, and I have a lot of fun using it. But it's at the number five spot, honestly, because I don't actually go for this one as much as I would some of the other ones on this list. It's very fun, and I personally like it, but it's not the one that I go for instinctively. So, let's move on to number four. Four. Now, in the number four spot, the Star Wrath. So, this is actually one of the swords that you can get from the Moon Lord, and it's pretty fun. So, it works a lot like the Lunar Flare. It will actually spawn projectiles down to your mouse cursor. But the reason I actually like this one is because it's actually so bright. Like, I really like weapons that are very visually interesting in Terraria. That adds a lot of fun to me. And this one is definitely, definitely visually interesting to look at. It will spawn many, many stars down to your mouse cursor, and it will actually do a good amount of damage. Now, the cool thing about this sword is that you can actually do do contact damage against enemies by actually hitting them with the blade and then you can actually hurt enemies quite far off in the distance by actually just raining down stars on their head like i mentioned it's actually very fun to look at and that's why i'll often use this if i get it from the moon lord but just like the lunar flare it's not one that i instinctively grab and that's kind of the problem with some of the weapons from the moon lord they're all really good but i have to instantly grab them for it to make it into the top three so let's move on to number three Three. So in the number three spot is the Meow Mia. This one is a... Uh... Well, it's a little bit ridiculous, let's be honest. So it's the most powerful sword in Terraria and it spawns cats. Like, if that doesn't show you how immature and fun Terraria can be, you know, it doesn't take itself very seriously. Uh, nothing else will. This sword is just a meme sword, uh, but it's cool. It will actually make a meowing sound every single time you use it. And these cats will actually fly at 62 miles per hour. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It reminds me a lot of the bunny cannon because obviously firing out animals is something that Terraria clearly likes to do. Um, it's just a cool sword. It's very visually interesting. Of course, it leaves a rainbow particle as you actually use it. And if I am going to grab a sword at the end of Terraria, it's always got to be the Meowma. So it's fun. It's visually interesting. And it's actually really, really powerful. So that's probably one of the best things about it. Of course, it will actually bounce around and that makes it even better. But yeah, it's it's just interesting, the Meowma. It, it's a cool sword. Two. Now, in the number two spot, I could have easily tied this with number one. And I'm actually, you know, I'm still torn on this. So I'm going to give number two to the Terrarian. So this is the final yo-yo in Terraria. And the reason why I just want to stick it at number one, but I won't, is actually because I absolutely love yo-yos in Terraria. It's something that I never thought I would like. But after doing my yo-yo series and actually discovering the Terrarian at the end, 
yeah, I just love this weapon. It spawns out little green particles. It will stay out forever. Uh, if you pair it up with a yo-yo bag, it's insane. Uh, it doesn't use any mana or any ammo. It's just a cool weapon. And those little bouncing yo-yos can actually do quite a lot of damage. Yeah, I really wanted to stick this one at number one. But if I'm completely honest with myself... I keep this as somewhat of a backup. It's, it's a fun weapon for sure, and I really like how visually interesting it is. But at the end of the day, it's a yo-yo, and that requires a lot of precision, which means you have to move your mouse around quite a bit to actually get the full effectiveness of this weapon. But I'm sure as you'll see with the number one spot, that's not really the case. One. Now, in the number one spot, the Last Prism. I really feel like the majority of people that probably clicked on today's video knew that The Last Prism would be at the number one spot, and that's because it's loved by a lot of people. You see, The Last Prism is the most powerful mage weapon in the game, undeniably, and it is a little triangle that shoots out a little beam of light from each angle, and these beams of light actually get closer and closer together to form one giant beam. Now, the reason why everybody loves The Last Prism is because it absolutely shreds through everything this thing can hit so many enemies and bosses at once and then when it does form a giant laser it just absolutely rips through them and i really feel like terrari is at its best when you have something that's a little bit overpowered and you can just shred through everything now the reason i actually like this weapon more than most is because it actually has a little secret depending on your character's name you can actually change the color of the last prism i did a full video about that and if you want to see all the different names i'll leave a link at the end of today's video so that's about it for my top five moon lord weapons I know that this video will be a little bit indecisive for a lot of people, so I would love it if you guys could leave me your top 5 Moon Lord drops in the comment section down below. I want to know what would be at your number 1 spot. Is it mine, or is it something else? Right, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you're new around here, be sure to click that subscribe button. I've got lots of new videos coming out very soon, and I just can't wait for you guys to see them. So if you click that notification bell, you'll be the first to see them as they come out. Thank you all for watching. My name is James, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.